going on, everybody? Welcome back to Phase 6, your source for music, business, motivation, and support. It's your guy, Sir Love, and I'm excited again because I'm getting ready to break down something that's very basic but something that's very important. I'm getting ready to break down to you guys what a split sheet is. This is pretty exciting. You guys need to know this. Split sheet is essential to getting your bread in this game and protecting yourselves legally. So let's make sure we protect ourselves and we get money. All right, so what is a split sheet? Explain it to me, sir. I keep hearing this thing. You know, as a lot of producers, I remember this one young producer I was talking to was saying, hey man, they asked me about a split sheet. I said, I didn't have one. They said, don't worry about it. I said, bro, you need to worry about it because if you gave them that beat and you didn't have a split sheet and you didn't know what it was and they told you not to worry about it, it's likely that they're gonna take your it. How does that happen? So what is a split sheet and how does it protect me? Well, let me break this down for you guys and make it real simple. So a split sheet is a document that breaks down who owns what on a record, right? It's going to list every single person involved with the song, right? That meant the person that wrote the song, the person that made the beat. There could have been multiple people involved in the beat. There could have been multiple songwriters involved in writing the song, right? All of them are going to be listed on this document. And then since you know, everyone made the record. Typically, uh, early in the early stages of the record, everyone knows each other, they're around each other. If all of y'all were in a room, you just made a dope song, everyone knows who contributed what. So another thing that the document specifies is who owns what percentage. As other words, who contributed what percentage to getting the job done. So in most urban music, so that means like hip hop, uh, R&B, soul, uh, and actually it kind of goes for it to pop now being that a lot of urban music is pop. 50% uh, of the record is generally directed toward the people that made the sound. Another 50% of the record is normally generated toward people that wrote the words, okay? Now, in the world of publishing and royalties, everyone involved in the project is called a writer. So just because you made the beat does not mean that you're not a writer. A long time ago, um, producers used to write physical notes on sheet music, and so producers were still considered writers. Fast forward to today, you don't even need sheet music to make music, right? But however, you're still considered a writer. The songwriter is also a writer. So the document lists every writer that's involved in what they contributed. So if you're a producer and you made 50% of the, of the record, meaning you did the whole beat by yourself, you get 50%. And if you're the singer, songwriter, rapper, whoever, and you wrote the, your own lyrics, then you get the other 50 50% of the record. That's typically how it goes. Now, it can get more convoluted and chaotic, let's say, if that producer worked with another producer, and other producer contributed to the record, then they have to decide, okay, well, as a producer, I'm going to take, you know, 45% and give you 5 or 40, 10, or whatever it is that they agree on. If it's more, more producers, then, of course, that pie is getting broken up more and more. This is going to happen a lot in the world of pop, because in pop, there's typically a whole lot of writers involved in the record. In hip hop, there's typically a lot of samples. And when you sample someone's music, they are now a writer on the record as well. If you're giving them credit and you're trying to get it clear and you're doing things the right way. You know what I'm saying? So the writer category can get really thick depending on how many people that are involved. But typically as an independent or someone that's starting off, everything's pretty simple. So what does it say? The document basically says you did this and you uh, deserve this percentage of it. Everybody signs this document. This becomes the legal buy agreement going forward and will determine who gets what off of everything that that record makes whether you land in a movie whether it goes on radio whether it ends up on a television show no matter what happens to that record it might end up as background music to a commercial right and that commercial may want to, that uh, commercial provider coca-cola whoever may want to put spend some money with you guys right that split sheet is going to determine how much of that money you get from the moment you leave the studio for the rest of your life in reference to that record, all right? So split sheets are very important. So imagine that artist or that kid that I told you guys about, that producer that was saying, hey, I was in the studio, they asked me about split sheets and I didn't know what it was. Well, if you're not on that split sheet and that record goes out, now you're in court trying to figure out how to prove that you were involved in the record. And what happens if, let's say, the other people involved in the record decide they're gonna cut you out? Like, they were a producer, click on their own, they were cool, they invited you over, you added a little bit of sauce to the track, but they decided, mm, we're not gonna include him on the splits. You're in court trying to prove that you were on the record, but now everybody on the split sheet is saying this guy wasn't there. How do you prove it? This becomes a long, drawn out legal battle, so it's really, 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 really beneficial to make sure that you get your split sheets done early on um, in the deal. So this is what a split sheet is, and this is why it is important. So what does a split sheet look like, and how do I go about getting one? 
I'm gonna answer that and I'm also gonna break down to you guys how to fill out a split sheet. So in the very next video, you're gonna find out how to fill it out. I'm gonna walk you through the whole thing. As far as what they look like, here's what they look like. You can see it on the screen. You've probably possibly seen it a couple times. This is generally what a split sheet is, okay? Now, how do you go about getting one? I made it very easy for you guys because split sheets are so essential. I want everyone to win and I want everyone to have what they need. So you can go to the links in the bio and you can get it. You can get a split sheet right now and go ahead and get started. Now with the split sheet that I've prepared and, and put on there, I've included some legal language and things of that nature. I'm going to break all of that down in the demonstration video next where I show you how to, how to, how to fill it out, what the process is, how the percentages work when you're actually dealing with your PRO, which may be ASCAP or maybe CSAC or maybe whoever you're with, because if you're international, you can have a completely different PRO. But I'm gonna break all that stuff down for you guys. So keep watching, download the link before, let's get started, watch the next video, know how to fill this out, because if you get a split sheet and you fill the thing out wrong, I mean, what are, you, what are we doing here? You know, it's, it's, what are we doing? You don't get, there's no, this is pass or fail. This is pass or fail. There is no, I almost got the split sheet right. So let's get it right, I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. Now I don't know everything. But I know a lot about a little and a little about a lot. And every time I step in front of this camera, I give you guys every single thing that I got. And right now, I'm giving you guys this split sheet. So please, please, please take advantage of this opportunity. Check me out at www.phasevi.com. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Tell everybody you know. Share me online. It's your boy, Sir Love. I'm out.